Hey guys, I'm Ellie, and today I'm going to talk about something which resonates with me, and you might know it as the reverse pendulum serve. I'm going to ask you a quick question. Do you know why a reverse pendulum serve is so important at any level of table tennis? Think about it, and while you're thinking about it, I'm going to give you a few tips as to how to develop your pendulum serve, and then hopefully over the process you can also see why it's so important. Okay, so the pendulum, reverse pendulum serve has three main spins that you can impart. Backspin, side spin, side spin, and side spin, top spin. I'm gonna demonstrate them and I want you to try and have a look and pinpoint if you can see the difference between all three. One. Two. Yes. Did you see the difference between all three different serves? Well, if you didn't, I'm going to show it to you in slow-mo. Okay, so with the reverse pendulum serve, the grip is really, really important. So this is obviously a normal shake hand grip, which you can do a pendulum serve. But when you're looking to do a reverse serve, you really have to try and let go of all the fingers off the blade, off the wood here. Also bring the uh, index finger slightly higher up. Some players put it right up at the top, some players put it there. I put it around in the middle. I think Timberball has it really high up there. For me, I'm happy here. Some players may just grab it like this and they just flick the wrist. So be aware of your grip and that will give you a lot more flexibility to take the wrist around. Uh, tip number one is getting the movement right. A lot of players, when they do the reverse pendulum, they go out, away from the ball, and that doesn't generate a lot of spin. You want to try and go in towards the table. So a nice little exercise I like to implement with my players is to just get them to drop the ball and do this. Once you learn to do that, it helps you to generate that spin. Now you can go pure backspin, so you're going right underneath the ball, like this, right? There. One more. There. And you notice the ball comes back. If I want pure side spin, instead of going under the ball this way, the reason I'm doing it over the table is to really make sure that I go forward. If I want to get side spin, I go this way. So I'm here and I go... So I should actually say it's around about a 45 degree angle that way. So with the back spin, I'm going this way, which is a 90 degree angle. Then I'm going 45 degrees here for side spin. There, pure side spin. And then when I'm looking for top spin, this is when I'm actually going up. So I drop the ball, sorry, drop the ball and I go up, up, upward trajectory and that makes the ball spin with top spin. So that's a nice, really nice little exercise for you to try and incorporate with your uh, service practice when you're trying to get the reverse. So tip number two is how you position your bat on your, on your um, hand. Do you go above the wrist or under the wrist? For me, I like to go above the wrist. I feel a little more comfortable and I generally have better connection. But you can go under the wrist and this allows you to generate a lot more backspin, but it's harder to time it. And also you wanna try and think where you're gonna con contact the ball on the rubber. So if you're going for pure side spin, you're trying to hit in and around this zone. If you're going for backspin, that's when you try and contact that part at the end because you've gone through the ball you've missed it and then you've just contact the ball in this area here anywhere in this zone there and then for the top spin ball the other way around you kind of contact the ball there so here and then it generates that top spin so around this section of the bat so those are two key elements for you to implement where you uh, grip where you put the blade above or below your wrist and where you contact the ball on the bat. Okay, so tip number three is understanding the importance of the serve and making the serve high quality. So what's the importance of a pendulum serve? 
it enables you to direct the ball in two different ways. So it swerves to the left and then your um, reverse pendulum swerves to the right. And that makes it very difficult for your opponent then to receive the serve. But if you're always serving with one direction, then the opponent will have it a lot more easier on their behalf. So that's really the real main importance of the reverse pendulum serve, is to give you another element to your uh, serving repertoire. Now, lastly, it's really, really important that you whip your wrist. Now, unlike a pendulum, you're able to bring your wrist a lot further in. So this is the pendulum, which allows me to cock my wrist about that much. But with my reverse serve, I can bring the wrist all the way in there, which is literally a 90 degree angle. The other one is more around 45 degree, which means I can generate a lot more spin. And if you watch players like Timberball, he generates a hell of a lot of spin on his reverse serve. Uh, I'm sure there's a few others as well, but it's just something for you to be aware of is that you need to be whipping the wrist to generate lots of spin. So let's have a quick look at two different serves, the um, pendulum and the reverse pendulum. Two more. One. Great. So hopefully you can see there the ball swerving to left, ball swerving to the right, and you can mix it up as well as you get better. Once you learn the technique, you can start elevating it by doing disguises, different contact points on the serve and different movements afterwards once you've hit the ball. And that will really help you um, gain lots of extra points to your game and hopefully generate weak returns which you can attack. Remember this serve is so tough, possibly the hardest serve to learn in the game, the reverse backspin serve. Um, so be patient with it, be willing to practice and practice, watch over the videos, look at the slow motion and really notice the movements and how it works and over time I'm sure you'll get it. I'll see you on the next video.